Welcome to this UNIF tutorial video. In this video, we give a short description of the two datasets you can choose from in order to complete the exercises of this tutorial. On the one hand, there is a dataset of the National Library of Finland, which contains the trilingual general Finnish ontology USO, plus the additional vocabulary USO places for geographic terms. Then a training dataset constructed for metadata records from the Finna.fi discovery service, and over 2,000 English language masters and doctoral theses published from 2010 to 2017 from the University of Uvascula. On the other hand, there is a data set of the Leibniz Information Center for Economics, or ZBW, which contains their own standard thesaurus for economics, or STW, then a training data set constructed for metadata records from the EconBIS Discovery Service, and over 4,000 working papers in economics from the ZBW Open Access Repository EconStore. Furthermore, the given sets are divided into training data based on metadata, which is provided in a TSV format where the first column contains the title of the resource and the following columns each contain the ID of a descriptor that has been assigned to this resource intellectually and into training data based on full texts, which is provided as pairs of URLs pointing to, to the PDF, and TSV files listing the IDs of the descriptors that have been assigned to this text intellectually. And here is a summary of both data sets, where one is based on a larger trilingual and universal vocabulary, and the other on a more concise bilingual vocabulary for the domain of economics. We have also provided small subsets of around 100,000 entries of the short text training sets for quick tests, and we have divided the full text corpus into suitable subsets for training, validating and testing the methods that we will look at in the following exercises respectively. We suggest that you pick one of the data sets and stick to it for the rest of this tutorial in order to be able to compare the results for various methods. So, how do you get the data sets? Two steps are necessary. The first step is to download the datasets from the UNIF tutorial GitHub repository. If you are using the VirtualBox image, you can skip this step, since the image already includes them. If you are using a Docker or Linux installation, you can either download the repository as a zip file from GitHub or use Git tools to clone the repository. Either way, you should end up with a folder called UNIF tutorial containing the datasets. The second step is to download the full text files and convert them to text files. Due to copyright reasons, we cannot redistribute the full text documents, so they must be downloaded from Ux or Icon Store, and the PDF files must be converted to text so that Anif can process them. This is all automated using a make file, but it takes about half an hour or more, depending on the speed of your internet connection, to run it. Here you can see the commands that you need to run, depending on which dataset you've chosen. Now I will demonstrate how to download and convert the SDW ZBW dataset. I'm using the VirtualBox image, but the process is similar for other types of installation. I will open a terminal window and make sure that I'm in the UNIF tutorial directory. Then I will go to the directory where the full text documents are cd datasets stw zbw slash docs and I will run the make command make dash j4 dash k here the number 4 means that there will be 4 processes running in parallel which speeds this up a little bit I'm starting it this will take about half an hour so I will skip to the end there may be some warnings from the PDF conversion, for example, about font issues, but these can be safely ignored. Now the download and conversion is complete. I can go back to the tutorial directory by entering cd dash. You have now been introduced to the datasets of this tutorial and how to get them to your own computer. You can now start completing the tutorial exercises. Thank you for watching.